Good morning, gentlemen. Modal Electronics Hello. in Superbooth. How are you? Good. So you've got some updates, right? Yep. Yes, we do. So we have uh, basically now the oscillators are um, are ready to, to go basically, and they're gonna we're gonna start shipping it in May. We're talking about the 002 oscillators and uh, the 002 filter, of course. So now we're using the 001 to control um, the our Eurax system. And as you know, the 001 is modular ready. We got four CV in and four CV out. So at the moment, I'm controlling with two CV outputs. I'm controlling the one volt per octaves of the two oscillators. With another CV, I'm controlling the gate. And with another one again, I'm controlling with the aftertouch, a bit of modulation on the filter. So now I'm going to play a little bit with the 001 while Aiden is showing the the modules a bit more in depth. Right, so you're going to run the filter, run the sequence off the W1 or just... Yeah, I'm going to run, I think, an arpeggio or a sequence, yep. Go. Okay, excellent. So, uh, you probably know this bit about these already. Uh, you, you have pretty much identical circuits to what we have in our polysense. Um, the, we have, there's, there's a couple of minor changes to the circuits, but I would say they're only good ones. For example, the NCO module has a much beefier microprocessor in it, so it'll be much more capable of like Audio 8 FM and kind of, you know, all the uh, sexy, interesting things you want to do with your modular systems. Um, should we get a bit of sound here? Yeah, so... Um, so what's the display showing? Is that just... The display's showing uh, the wavetable that's selected, so I can kind of scan through some of these. There's 55 uh, wavetables to choose from. Um, the final one being noise. And you have some classic things like sawtooth, sine wave. Towards the middle, there's some lovely bell like tones. The, um, the 002 oscillator was originally designed to. Um, it, 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 it um, basically has lots of um, wavetables in there that uh, are quite complex. Um, so it was, I guess it was originally designed to make up for lower capabilities in FM. Um, it's maybe not so necessary now, but there's, there's lots of interesting stuff in there. Um, let's show a bit of let's show a bit of the FM as it is now. Okay. So we have a ten vertus on each of the um, CV inputs, so you can. Um, <laughs> there we go. So yeah, there's a bit of crazy FM. Ah, so you can go positive and negative on each. Right. That's right. That's right. Um, another. And can you modulate the wave uh, position as well? You can. At the moment, the screen doesn't kind of update with this, but yeah, you can hear it going on. All oh, right, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you can take that through. That could be pulse width or just straight. Yeah, away. sorry. Yes, yeah, maybe a more sensible thing to show. <laughs> I just like my madness, craziness. There you are. I like my pulse width. Yeah. yeah. So another um, uh, kind of unique feature, I guess, about the 002 NCO is, um, as you may already be familiar with, is we have that's it. We have subwav, which is as uh, as standard as a as a pulse as you'd expect. You can hit this button though, the the, the subwav button, and it then mimics um, whatever wavetable you have selected. You get a sub octave of that wave. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, finally, we have D-Res mode, um, and this essentially halves the sample rate, and you get a much more Atari-like kind of sound out of the oscillator. Yeah, let's get back up to this pitch. Uh, let's move on to the filter, just super quick. So, again, this is kind of like the 002 uh, transistor ladder filter. It has a really, really tasty transistor ladder filter. But this is an analog device. It's fully analog. Um, it is, it's quite a clever design. I believe basically it takes uh, a four pole output um, from one part of the transistor ladder and a one pole from uh, another part of it, from another part of the same circuit. And you can continuously um, uh, fade between these two. There's two kind of VCAs within that circuit that allow you to do it. Um, so, yeah, you. <laughs> 
Are we still getting? Ah, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Let's stop. So that. you got? Let's yeah, that, we saw this, but I, I was really, I really like the way it's sounded. We've also got, you've, you've got a couple of the W8s in there. As yeah, well. so not, 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 not going yet. Unfortunately, no, we can't, can't demonstrate these today. Well, but it's um, really interesting. I was wondering how you're going to do all the modes of the filter on the. So w how the filter works again is kind of, it's actually like one analog circuit, and there's, um, there's kind of digital switching inside. So it's, there's, there'll be an encoder on the front panel and as you kind of select the different modes there's 15 different um, kind of filter topologies basically yeah. um, and when you switch to new modes then it'll kind of set the digital switch so it reroutes that circuit in, in a certain way to achieve that. My personal favourite out of these is the um, uh, the two pole uh, notch and low pass. Um, I use that for kind of pad sounds in the 008 all the time. No, um, Cool. So do, when um, when are the uh, modules going to be ready? When are they? So be? the um, the 002 family uh, are, we're aiming for May. Um, they'll be between uh, 250 and 350 dollars. We're aiming for like the the 200 pounds mark um, for most of the modules. Um, uh, yeah, that's that's what we're going for. Yeah. Okay, great. So what else have we got there, Luca? Yeah. So. We got some improvements on the 001 um, operating system. So now we kind of like, um, we're focusing a lot on the Eurorack dimension. So we want it to be a really powerful, um, let's say master keyboard for your Eurorack system as well. So now from the sequencer, you can directly send sequences out uh, to CV directly. So instead of going, you know, just instead of using notes or for playing the internal voice engine or parameters for modulating internal uh, synth engine, we can now send our uh, sequences straight to the to the CV to a CV output. I gotcha. So now, for example, I'm sending to CV4 um, like a modulation signal as a CV. Uh, I can just you know uh, adjust the values with with the front panel. I can even uh, insert values with MIDI with the keyboard. Um, yeah, so if you want, it's, it, that's quick ways of editing it. And then, yeah, when I start the sequence now, it's gonna it's gonna send out a modulation signal to 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 the to a mixer. So it's going to the filter now, if I guess. Yeah. So if I play if I play this, it's now modulating, as you can hear. I think yeah, it should be modulating the filter cut off. Of course, it's just a quick example, but you can modulate pretty much everything you want, of course, in your rack system, so that's pretty yeah, flexible. I mean, because the, the 001 has a, 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 the potential to be like the heart that's of That's what we'd like people to, yeah, to, to understand. It's, it's actually a, a, a Eurac-ready uh, synthesizer and, and keyboard. And so on the sequencer, you, lim you, not, you, you basically can modulate all the... You can send out four different CVs on the four different CVs out, and still you have other eight channels, eight rows left to modulate other stuff internally or externally via MIDI. Right. For example, you. now, as we can move to the right, we have also the, double o, the new 008 uh, rack, and I was using 001 to send MIDI messages to it, but I can quickly show you also the web interface. So it's our. It's, ah, so you've got the same sort of editor. Yeah, basically it's the best way we guess to edit, you know, uh, patches and sequences on rack systems, especially on this brand new Double uh, AR. So now I'm running like a sequence. Very simple sequence, and on the on the patch editor, I can change again cut off filter. This is just an HTML5 thing, right? Yeah, exactly. As you know, Double O has many different filter modes. You can change them again. It's 15 different filter modes, so you can play with. So, them any uh, here's a question: any um, any plans to um, integrate Web MIDI with the uh, the editor? We have plans. We have plans. At the moment, I can't talk much, but yeah, it's definitely we we always open to new technologies, especially you know web technologies. Because at the moment it's uh, IP based, isn't it? So it basically, it yeah, you, you just have an IP, and we, 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 the, the, the web editor and the instrument talk, they, they run protocol, let's say. Uh, but yeah, we, we're gonna, we're gonna integrate some new technologies, of course. Right, and this, uh, the editor is available for when's the 008? Uh, we, we, sh we start shipping this last week, if I don't go wrong. Yep. Okay. So we, we're shipping it now. It's ready to go. Thank you very much, Luca. Thank you, guys.